Hello, this is Toph from Trifold Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I want to revisit an add-on of an add-on that I did a while ago. Um, it's the Real Snow add-on, it's free. Uh, back then it was just an intro, but this is more in-depth, so to speak. And the add-on seems to work with every version of Blender from 2.8, all the 2.8 series, the 2.9 series, the 3.0 series. I don't know about 4.0, but for those ones I just mentioned, it seems to work quite well, actually, which is surprising. Usually add-ons don't do that, but this one actually does. And I'll leave uh, the link for it to download uh, below the video so you can download yourselves. And the download process is a little bit different. It's from a GitHub site. I know the uh, developer, I don't know why they took down their site, but it's on GitHub now. And the download process is still just the same. Once you've opened up this site, uh, click on code, the green button. From the drop down menu, click on download zip. And once you've downloaded that zip onto your system, I just go to edit, preferences, uh, make sure you're on add ons, click on install, navigate to where you've downloaded onto your computer, click on install add on, and let me type in snow. And you put a check in the box in this version 1.1. Like I said, this works for. 2.8 series, 2.9 series, and 3.0 series, just fine. And it's on the right-hand side of the UI of Blender, which is the toolbar. Uh, and it's right there. You can uh, adjust the coverage and the height. These are the uh, parameters that are available in the toolbar, but you have other parameters on this side, but I'm not going to deal with those right now. I just deal with this. And the process is still just the same in terms of installing snow. That's why it's so easy to use. Just click on Add Snow. And add snow to the top of any model. It could be Suzanne, uh, any model you import into Blender, which is surprising. Uh, but let's see how it looks in uh, the GPU, which is Cycles. Now, it renders out in Cycles and in Eevee, but obviously Cycles is better. So I'm going to change every port render engine to cycles change this to GPU and I'm going to change our world settings because right now it's like a dark gray let's change this to a light blue to represent like the sky let me see a little bit bluer there we go and change our viewport and there's our snow now if you zoom into the snow it looks low poly you can't really see much detail in it but you can increase the subsurface, which has been added to the add-on by the developer. Click on that wrench. And we're going to scroll down. Let's toggle this lower. Because it has subsurface a subsurface modifier applied to it, which is this. And if we zoom into our snow by scrolling up on our mouse wheel, let's reposition this a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Right now it's at 1, and it looks kind of pretty much low poly. Let's uh, kind of get rid of this orange line around our snow here. It looks really choppy. But if we increase our levels here, it makes a drastic change to the way the snow looks. Now you can see that there's more detail in the snow. A lot more detail and looks a whole lot better. And remember, when you want to render this out, make sure the render la layers or render levels are the same as your viewport levels. So since this is three, make this three also, no come out looking the same, looks a whole lot better. Another thing I wanted to showcase is how you can apply um, the snow to different faces of your model. We're gonna knock out two things with this because of the fact that a lot of add-ons, they don't seem to work with other add-ons, but I have a scene set up already. Let's not save that. And I got this bench from the Botanic Library, their traffic add-on, which I've showcased that already myself. But if we click on our barrier here, and we go down to our snow add-on, we click on Add Snow, it adds snow to the whole thing, and it doesn't look realistic at all. Sometimes this might happen when you add snow to a model you import. But a good thing with this is, like I said before, it works with other add-ons in terms of models being imported from other add-ons into Blender or just an OBJ model from anywhere. It works. 
But like I said before, it doesn't look realistic at all. The snow just seems to be kind of drawn on there. But we can add the snow to certain faces. So let's press Control Z to go back. And to use the selected faces option with their model selected, click on tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode. And then C on your keyboard, go into circle select. And then left click and drag with their mouse. Oh, let's go into face mode first. Let's get out of this. Um, I wasn't supposed to press C, but let's uh, go on to face select first by pressing this uh, icon there, left click on that. So now we're on face select, then press C and left click and drag over the surface where you want the snow to appear. And then right click to get out of that uh, circle select mode. Uh, press tab on your keyboard again and click on selected faces and then add snow. And now it's added snow to the faces that we have selected. And it looks more realistic. So yeah, those are the um, the uh, parts that I wanted to showcase with the Real Snow add-on. Once again, it's a free add-on. Works great. Works in all versions of a lot of versions of Blender, which is impressive, and it's easy to use. So that's the uh, today's Blender quick tip. And you know, if you want to change some parameters with this, I, I showcased that in the previous video, which I'll link up in probably this area here so you guys can see it and check it out. But remember to like and subscribe. And I hope this was helpful for those of you who have watched. And once again, I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios. And the installation process and the download, pro download process is a, little, is a little bit different. It's a GitHub uh, on a GitHub. <laughs>